the Samsung 512GB SM951AHCI solid state drive. This is uh, this solid state drive is actually a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. Of course, all the pictures you see online they take really cool close up shots, but uh, this is the actual size for comparison version. Let's just open this up and see what it really looks like here. This must be very frustration free packaging. This is actually smaller than uh, most RAM chips you get, but uh, that's it right there. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging right now because I'm not wearing a wrist strap, but. Uh, there it is, 512 gigabytes of, uh, of super fast solid state goodness. Alright, so here's what we'll be comparing. Uh, for information, I'm running a ASRock Z170 Extreme 6. This is the latest firmware version as of the time of making this video. Uh, running a i7-6700, just running it as stock clocks right now. And the drives that I'll be comparing. I have the Samsung MZ HPV 512 HDGL. That's the that's the part number, but it's a Samsung 951 AHCI uh, M.2 drive. It is running through the PCI Express. Also, I'll be comparing a Crucial M500. It is a 240 gigabyte SSD, and I'll also be comparing that against a standard mechanical hard drive. All right, here's World of Warcraft launching from a mechanical hard drive on a clean boot. And it's done. World of Warcraft launching from the Crucial M500 240GB solid state drive on a clean boot. And it's done. Here's World of Warcraft launching from the Samsung SM951 AHCI. And done. Here's the four loading from a mechanical hard drive. Clean boot. Now we'll load the game.
Thief Four, starting from the Crucial M500 240 gigabyte SSD. Clean boot. And let's load the game. Here's Thief 4 launching from the Samsung SM951 on a clean boot. Now from the game menu, let's load the game. Alright. Here's a chart for World of Warcraft. The blue bar represents the total time from when play is clicked from the launcher to when the character select screen appears. The orange bar represents the total time from when Enter World is clicked to when you enter the world and everything is loaded. And the number on each bar is both those times added together. And so here we see that a solid state drive is able to load the game a full 45.2 seconds faster than a mechanical drive. And the Samsung SM951 AHCI is 2.8 seconds, 2.86 seconds faster than a serial ATA3 solid state drive in this, in this case the Crucial M500. The advantage of moving to a solid state drive is clear. 45.2 seconds is not an insignificant amount of additional waiting time. And wow, this can help you stay in dungeons and raids in that if you get a random disconnect, you're much more likely to get back into the game before you get booted for being linked in. Now here is the chart for Thief 4. The advantage in this game is not as great, but it's still there. A solid state drive is 11.67 seconds faster than a mechanical drive in this case. However, the faster SM951 is just 0.6 seconds faster, and so the advantage is more slight. And so the conclusion that we have is that stepping up to a solid state drive over a mechanical drive gives you a huge improvement in load times. If you aren't running a solid state drive for your boot drive and for games, you're wrong. However, the advantage of an M.2 drive running through PCI Express isn't as great. It's a little faster, but you have to balance that with cost. The Samsung SM951 AHCI has a maximum sequential read speed of 2150 megabytes per second. The Samsung SM950 Pro, which has a full NVMe drive, has a maximum sequential read of 2500 megabytes per second, whereas the Crucial M500 has a maximum sequential read of just 500 megabytes per second. However, the faster read time doesn't scale as well when it comes to load times, and so you have to take price into consideration. The 512 gigabyte 951 AHCI can be had for $309 on Newegg at the time I made this video. The 950 Pro of the same size sells for $327. The 950 Pro is the full NVMe version of the drive. However, you can buy a 1 terabyte Samsung 850 EVO for $309. That's twice the storage for the same price. The 512 gigabyte Samsung 850 Pro is $220 on Newegg. So if you don't need the full terabyte for your boot drive, you can save almost $100. And so you have to ask if waiting just a couple seconds less is worth the added cost of one of the HCI or NVMe drives if all you're interested in is gaming. Of course, prices are falling all the time. This video was posted on March 6, 2016, and so if you're watching this several months or even a few years into the future, NVMe drives may have reached parity with serial ATA drives, 
and the price differential will be a moot point. If this has been helpful or informative to you, please like this video and thanks for watching.